why is the head pack gif on? Oh no. Hi everybody. One moment. Hello. Hey, turn off. There we go. <laughs> oh, how's everybody doing today? Hi, Maven. Good to see you. Hi, Jess. Hi, Pawn. Chat did get some head pats at the beginning of this stream. <laughs> Oops. How's my audio sounding today? I did I did a lot of audio tests uh, before I started my stream, so I'm hoping it's okay. <laughs> the chat head pats were accidental, but you 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 burned them. You can have them. That's all. That's okay. <laughs> also, F in the chat for Pawn's fingies. Your fingers got burned. That That's the worst, honestly. Um. <laughs> Jesse, that implies that you've, like, taught Pawn... The same trick that my uncle taught his dogs, which was like to put a treat on their nose and force them to wait until he said okay. And then they would like toss the treat up into the air and then eat it. Which was always cool, but I don't know <laughs> I don't know if Pawn will go for that. Okay, one second. I'm gonna check my audio on my end here. Because I'm learning things. Can I hear me? Let me see. Oh, I can hear me a little bit, and now you can probably hear me as an echo, which is great. Okay, yeah, that sounds fine to me. Okay. <laughs> How are you even going to do that over my glasses? Who knows? Yeah, honestly, I feel like Jess could do most things if she puts her mind to it. <laughs> Anybody do anything fun today? I really didn't, so I'm looking to see if anybody has had a better day than I have. Ooh, ow. I just about spilled a bottle of water all over my keyboard, which is wonderful. I will say, um, Edison has been, like, actually a very good boy today. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Jess, for doing all those clips. It, it is always so appreciated. Um, except I don't really know how I feel about that whole, uh, the, the demon voice mod, uh, clip that you did. Don't know how I feel about that being preserved for posterity, but... <laughs> oh, thank you, Jess. <laughs> I was actually trying to see if I could get voice mod to open so I could do the demon voice, but it's been fighting me today. I don't know why. I think I'll probably need to like force close it and bring it back up, but that's okay. Yeah, no, Edison's actually been a good boy today. Yes, he does deserve a treat. I was actually going to give him treats before the stream, but I forgot. Bubba? Oh, you see? You want? Here he comes! <laughs> he, he was out in the front room, but he is here now. Bubba lubba. Jesse gave you a treat! I'll give you some more treats after the stream. I trimmed his nails today, and usually that is an ordeal, but he was so good. I'm very proud of him. Alright, come here, lava. Like, no, I'm gonna, they're gonna pick me up in my dirt. Alright. Ragara! There you go. Look! Treat for you! Say thank you, Jesse. Very good! Oh, good boy! He didn't drop it on the floor this time! What a talented boy! Oh my goodness! <gasps> yes! You wanna give some purrs to the stream, huh? Huh? Am I close? I don't know if you guys can hear it over <laughs> the music. He's a very quiet. Well, he's not a quiet purr. It's just very bassy. Oh, 
Bobby, you are so heavy on my lap. <laughs> oh, I love you too, honey. Oh, thank you. He's a good boy. Thank you, Jess. Oh, oh, you're you're only staying up here and schmoozing up to me because the bag of treats is still up here. Wow. Why? Uh... <laughs> I see how it is. Okay, babe, I have to I have to I have to scoot my chair in and your whole entire big chunky body is in my way. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Okay, you wanna go? You wanna go? He actually does not want to go. <laughs> okay, you can sit right here. Let me just scoot, okay? There we go. Alright. You might be slightly stuck. <laughs> Are you okay, baby? Hi. Hi, Chonker. Do you wanna say anything? Do you have any words of wisdom? I have a video I'm gonna post on Twitter later. I forgot to do it earlier. Um, but I was working on something on my PC and I just, like, poked my head out of the door to see what Eddie was doing. <laughs> Thank you, Jess. Um, yeah, I poked my head out of the door to see what he was doing, and he was just laying on his back with his legs, like, totally outstretched. And he gave me a look that was basically just like, yeah, you want to say something? <laughs> oh, you were being weird. What were you doing? He actually does not want to get off my lap, which is very rare. Usually he takes the treat and he leaves, but he's just hanging out today. Do you want to play Doki Doki Literature Club, Eddie? Huh? Do you want to- Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Do, do you want to play? <laughs> oh. I think he's just a little bit. I don't know, I've pet you a lot today. He's just a needy boy sometimes. Huh, ba 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 ba. Okay, you actually are going to have to get off of my lap because I cannot do things with you here. I love you so much. I love you with my whole heart. Oh! Hers are very loud. Have, can you guys hear him at all? Oh, bonk head. <laughs> he lives here now. He might as well. Okay, bye bye I can leave you here for a second. You'll get fined. Oh yeah, it does feel kind of illegal to move him. Thousands of dollars, and I'll go to jail! Jail for being mean to my sweet boy. Oh my goodness, you're being so sweet! What's up with you today? What did you do? Did you do something bad that I haven't found out about yet? So you're just trying to be super nice? Huh? What crimes have you committed, my son, huh? Such a good boy. Tell everybody, yeah, I got my nails trimmed, and I didn't... I didn't fight at all. And then mom brushed me and I loved the brush, huh? Can't hear anything, I'm still making dinner. Eh, I'll have to check the VOD later to see if his purrs pick up. Okay, but for, for real, I'm gonna need to let you go, babe. I love you so very much. <laughs> I wish Seamus loved the brush. He got cancelled on Twitter. What did you do on Twitter? What did you say, huh? What bad things did you tweet? Did you say something mean about dogs on Twitter? You know that's really mean to pawn, right? Can't say things that are prejudiced against dogs. Huh. Poor birds. <laughs> Prince Eddie is over party. Yeah. It'll be a trending hashtag one day, huh? You're gonna be... <laughs> you're gonna get so cancelled for being a butthole. Huh. <laughs> okay, love. Okay. I love you so much. But I have, I, mom, mama's got to do stream stuff. Mama has to do things and, and stuff. I will let you go. Bye bye. Everybody say bye, Eddie. <laughs> oh, he knows. <laughs> hey. <laughs> he, he got off of my lap, but he's staying right here. So I guess he's going to be, going to be my little bud for today. Yeah, I, th I think he's annoyed because I'm, uh, I'm doing a couple of, like, online class things to get better at After Effects, and, um, that's what I was doing today before stream, so I've just been kind of at my PC all day, and that's not giving attention to Eddie, so that's, that's a crime, and he gets very upset about it. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I forgot that I put a boo in there. You know what, Finn? That's fair. I forgot that I put that in there. <laughs> Okay, well, 
I said on Twitter that today is probably going to be the last stream for Doki Doki Plus, but we will see. I might do another stream if I find some other stuff. Thank you, <laughs> Jess. Um, yeah, I might do some other stuff uh, if I find other stuff, and it kind of depends on what we do today. My plan is to try and do the two normal dates for Natsuki and Yuri um, before things, you know, break bad, and then do uh, the side stories and kind of see what we get from there. Dan making a whole load more content to keep you <laughs> Doki Doki prisoner. Yeah, I would not be surprised. I would not be surprised if he's like, oh yeah, um, here's some more DLC. You guys figured out stuff too fast, so here's all this other stuff we came up with. I would lose my mind. I would lose it. Doki Doki Prisoner Club, yep. Yeah. Might as well. Okay, so first thing I'm actually going to do, um, I kind of talked about this last time I tried to do Doki Doki and the stream didn't work on Thursday. Um, oh, one second, let me reset my... You see face on face in the right way. There we go, yay! Um, but uh, I went through and I recorded uh, some stuff on a screen capture because... Pretty much everything that I found in my digging had to do with, um... Oh gosh, five minutes of Nya! Thank you very much, Jess! EDPC is just Monica in jail for metaverse crimes. Might as well be. Okay, alright, I'm putting on my timer for five minutes. Thank you for the point, routine, Jess. Okay, so, Nya. Um, Nya, I went through and I screen recorded a few things, Nya, uh, because... Everything that I found had to do with changing the time, yeah, or had to do with, um, well, no, it was all, it was all changing the time, yeah, and when I did that the last time, uh, VC face froze, and then also, um, like, Streamlabs, when I tried to close the stream, yeah, um, it did not want to, Nya. I had to force quit Streamlabs, Nya, and hope that that did not corrupt my stream recording, Nya. So changing the time while streaming is not something that, uh, that Streamlabs likes. Oh, I forgot to turn on my captions. There they are. Sorry about that, anybody who is using captions, Nya. Okay, and Trigger Warning Bot is working, Nya, Nya. Good, good. So, let's go ahead and head over here. Ah, wonderful. Oh, wait, let me turn this off real quick. I hope it doesn't... Oh, don't start playing, don't start playing, don't start playing. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Where are you? Get out of there. Get out of there. Okay. <laughs> let me put this in here in a slightly different way. And put it in as a window capture so I can start and stop it. This is going to look very, very uh, interesting for a second. Nope, nope, I can't. Okay, I can't. Okay. That's okay. Um. Let's like, let me try one more thing here. No, browser source isn't gonna do it. Um, display capture? No, I'm not doing that. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, nya, 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 sorry. Nya, 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 nya. That should hopefully cover all of the times I forgot to say nya at the end of my sentence, nya. Okay, so, nya. Let me go ahead and hopefully this will work, nya. Uh, but this is the footage that I took. Yeah. Oh, thank you for the 8 bits. Yay! Yay! Thank you very much, Jess Nya. Alright, okay, so here's that footage now. Um, this bit, let me bring it down a little bit, Nya. This is a screen cap, Nya, so I could show you that when it booted up, it had that little time code in the upper left, Nya. And so, I actually noticed that right when I booted this up to take this capture, Nya. So, Nya. Um, yeah, that's the first thing I'm gonna look at, I think, Nya. Uh, this was all edited, Nya, just, just to get through the bits, Nya, where it was just me sitting at my PC and thanking real hard, Nya. So it's a little bit better to watch. But so, yes, Nya, I was able to get through there. <laughs> you see me losing my mind, Nya, as I'm waiting for 8.33, Nya. Oh, what was that, Nya? Oh, okay, Nya. Um, <laughs> I realized at this point, yeah, that I don't really need to set the clock that far back, yeah. Um, okay, let me see if I can't 
read this nya, infrastructure nya, software nya, communication systems nya. We understand the modern day challenges of running an enterprise company with efficiency and reliability nya. That's why you can count on us to get the job done so you can focus on the business that matters most nya. With world class engineers and industry leading specialists nya, Metaverse Enterprise Solutions will always deliver solutions that last nya. Cost per year analysis shows that Metaverse Solutions saves up to 30% in the long run, nya, and our flexible support model ensures that quality can be delivered at a price point that is right for your company size, nya. Your time is valuable, nya. That's why for planning to design to, uh, to installation, our experts pick, uh, do the work for you, nya. Filling our simple questionnaire is all that it takes for our team to recommend the right plan and provide an affordable quote, nya. Excellence is right around the corner, nya. With solutions you can count on and experts you can trust, nya, this is our promise to you. You're in good company, nya. So that sounds like the, um, the, I guess, pitch, nya, for, for meta Metaverse Enterprise Solutions, nya, which is the company interface that we're in, nya. On my end, yeah. I read through this a couple of times because I was really worried about not being able to read it fast enough on stream, yeah. And I'm realizing I did it too slowly now, yeah. <laughs> That's okay, yeah. All right. So once I get out of that there, yeah, I think I don't remember exactly what one I did next, yeah. I think I went back and I reviewed another one here, Nya. If you watch the bottom right hand corner, you'll wa you'll see the time change. <laughs> Sumi-chan is now a corporate cat girl, Nya. Yes, I am. Oh, okay, that's five minutes. I am free. Thank you. Thank you again for the <laughs> for the point redeem. Okay, yes. So this one, project plan doc txt, I think might already have gotten. I'm not sure. Well, let me see. So, oh yes, we did this one. So project plan I outline, um, I was scrolling through it to find any times, any numbers, anything. <laughs> Another, okay, I'm gonna have to... <laughs> you saved a lot of points, Jess, Nya. Okay, five minutes again, Nya. So this one, Nya, I just sat on this screen for a second, Nya, to try and figure out what to do next, Nya. I was looking for any numbers, nya, any times, nya, because that seems to be the, um, the secret to get into these, like, internal files, nya. But <laughs> I had a little bit where I was having trouble figuring all of that out, nya. I didn't really know where to go from here, nya, and I was trying to see if there was any interesting information in here, nya, and there really wasn't. So I went back and I went through my notes, Nya, and I'm trying to remember which one I did next, Nya. I don't know where my notebook is, Nya. That doesn't help me. Oh, I start. I just start going through everything else that I remember, Nya. This is sped up footage. <laughs> and then I sit and I'm. I think I'm writing stuff down here, Nya. Okay, so looking through stuff that I can easily access, Nya. Going through there, Nya. I decided to go back to, I believe I decided to go back to the 915 in, in internal 130 here, Nya. Um, because in meeting notes 2, Nya, I don't really remember what was in there, Nya. And then when I opened it, I see the sentence. You see my, my mouse go a little bit crazy there, Nya, because I see the time 430, Nya. And then I also see the numbers 1, 2, 3, Nya. And I check in my notes that there is a file in internal directive 1, 2, 3, Nya. So I'm like, oh, great. No, this is the thing. This is the thing that I must do next, Nya. Um, I'm also just uh, reading through everything here, Nya. Um, but this is a file that we already read through. Nya. Uh, if you want to read these ones yourself, Nya, um, you can pause the stream, I suppose, Nya. Treating them like pets rather than simulated entities, Nya. That's that's the kind of vibe that I'm getting from uh, all of these files here, Nya. Um, they mention VMs a lot, which I think are virtual something, Nya. Oh, and then this one, Nya Nya. This one was the track name ideas, Nya. Um, and I see th uh, zero comma... Three comma zero, nya. Virtual machines, nya. That's probably it. You're right, Finn, nya. So I see zero comma three comma zero, nya, and I see that that is a folder that has a, a text file in it, and then this, um, 
Oh, thank you for the meow, Nya. Um, oh, I, I uh, cut some time out there, but I wrote down all of the song titles that were listed in there, Nya, and uh, went to go find which one it was, Nya, because it said track six in here, Nya, but none of the titles that were in that list uh, are here on this, Nya. And the reason why I wanted to go and look at these songs is I think probably the time code, uh, however long the song is, Nya, that's going to be the next time to get into folder 030, but it is not here, Nya. Were they growing cat girls in vats? Maybe, Nya. <laughs> But yeah, I look at this for a little bit, Nya, and I'm I'm cross-referencing every single one of the potential song names, Nya. So I think when it mentioned track six, Nya, it might mean like the sixth track of the new music that they did for this, Nya. Okay, yeah, and that is everything that I was able to find so far, Nya. I still have not gotten any any mail. I'm waiting for the day where I get mail in this game, Nya. But I think, I think, Nya. Um, well, I, I saw something online as I was confirming something else, Nya, um, that hinted that mail you start getting after a certain amount of progression, Nya, and I think I'm gonna bet it's, like, over 50% or something, Nya, because that seems, that seems fair, and one play, playthrough of the game was, uh, 42% is what we unlocked, I believe, Nya, let me actually boot up the game here so we can get into this stuff, Nya. Yeah. yeah. Alright, let me turn off the spoofy, Nya. Yeah. Thank you, Spotify, Nya. Yeah. It genuinely is put in my Streamlabs as spoofy. Nya. Yeah. Okay, Nya. Yeah. Let's get going, Nya. Yeah. Please open in the right window, Nya. Yay, Nya! <laughs> oh, it'll take a second before it shows up for you guys, Nya, but it is going, Nya. Okay. There oh! Oh, that was five minutes! Wow, that went by quickly. Thank you for the redeem, <laughs> Jess. Oh! One second, let me get it to come up on Streamlabs. Come on, friendo! Okie dokie. Yes? Okay. There we go. Do I need to put a cap on this, Jess? <laughs> do, do I need do I need a cap on this? <laughs> Cause I can. One second. Okay, oh yeah, okay, I just barely saw that the second one came in. Alright, okay, five minutes. Five more minutes of Nya. Alright, let's get into this here, Nya. Oh, I was gonna put up a poll here real quick, Nya. Let me do that, Nya. Do your little dance corporate cat girl, Nya. <laughs> Alright, I want to put a poll up here first, Nya. Um, just because we have to choose... Which one of the girls we're gonna do our normal date with this time, Nya? Because we're not gonna be doing Sayuri because we already got all her stuff, Nya. So, let me see if I can actually do this correctly, Nya. Please, let me do this, Nya. <laughs> Question, Nya, who should we date, Nya? <laughs> we don't have very many options. We I almost put Yuki, Nya. That's not Yuki. <laughs> y Yuki is, is the cute little white tiger girl who's, I think, still streaming right now, Nya. Then not... Nya. <laughs> Allow additional votes, Nya. No, we'll just do it for one minute, Nya. Okay, Nya, let's go here. Alright, everybody. Vote for what girl you want to do the date for first. We're gonna do both of them, Nya. That's the mouse and fruit. Fruits basket, baka. Oh yeah, it is Yuki. Yeah. Um, <laughs> fun fact, uh, Yuki was was my my husband though in in Fruits Basket. Yeah. Now it's gonna yeah now it's gonna be restricted now and it's all Jesse's fault. Yes, it absolutely is. I can actually probably go in there and change it right now.
You've always had a thing for rodents, then, yeah. That's not... <laughs> You're not the first person to put those two things together, Nya, and it's it's not because the rats. I don't I don't like either Yuki or Copia because of rats, Nya. <laughs> it's not. Uh oh. Oh no, we got a tie. Oh no. Oh no, we have a tie. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I don't have a rat fetish. Then put those words back in your mouth. Put those words right back in your mouth. The druid get Oh, yes, my druid assigned fetish. <laughs> oh, man. Part of me wants to make a new point redeem to, like, have me assign somebody a fetish, because uh, I think Maven said it a little bit ago that my uh, magic when I was back at home and could use magic was a little bit druidic, so <laughs> I could give you a druid assigned fetish. <laughs> And that, that's very weird out of context if people don't know, but that's a, a thing from my uh, Neverwinter Night stream that I did with a, with Senti. Do that? Okay. I'll make a note. You guys do not want to see the notes of all the stuff that I need to put in for the stream. I clipped it, Jess did. And I posted it on my Twitter because I don't think I'm going to say something that funny ever again. But, oh, and then let me make sure... That the audio is playing okay for this. Let's just do this one. Hey. Can you guys hear that okay? Let me turn up just a little bit. Actually, very quiet for me. Ooh. There we go. How does that sound, everybody? Thank you for linking it there, Jess. Yes, it's good to have for context. Yes, maybe next maybe next stream you can uh, spend your points to get a druid assigned fetish. <laughs> I will definitely have to limit those. I will definitely have to limit those. And also I'm gonna have to make a list of fetishes, which is very unfortunate. Alright, okay. Oh, oh I didn't know the music would keep playing. <laughs> Let's get back in here. Okay. Hi. We're back at it. Back here for your stuff, Dan. Woohoo! So this is gonna be much faster. Oh, I forgot I'm still supposed to be doing nya. Sorry, nya. Nya 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 nya. Nya 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 nya. I think that's all the nyas that I probably missed. Nya. Are you an insane? Thank you, Finn. Nya. I don't know if I'm winning yet, nya. I feel like my uh, my quest to get everything in this game, nya, is the opposite of winning, nya. Okay, I'm free from nya. <laughs> All right, so this one's yeah gonna go a lot faster than the first one, um, just because we have the option to skip already read dialogue, which is gonna be wonderful. Okay, skip. We go. Woohoo! Yeah, this is just gonna zip right through this until we start making choices. I think it's probably gonna get us right to the first poem, probably. It is time to write a poem! <laughs> so who are we dating? Well, the poll was a tie. So I don't know. I've also immediately lost my chat. There it is. Yeah, let me see. Let's do... Hmm. Let's do... We've already done, like, extra scenes with Natsuki before. Um. Like, obviously it was after everything. We didn't get the full Natsuki run last time, but we've already, like, had some content of her and not all of Yuri's. But I guess that might make Natsuki's a little bit faster so we could get through it pretty quickly. Okay, yeah, let's, let's do... Let's do Natsuki first. And we'll see what we can do. Um, and just like last time, uh, I will just be picking whatever word I see first in the chat. Um, and I don't, if people like, uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Never mind. <laughs> okay. All right. So here we go. All right. So we have here. Clouds, death, pink, 
Flower, awesome, atone, breathe, anger, incapable, and skipping. Look at these little girls here, though. I love them. <laughs> I do remember the Natsuki run being very cute, though. And I do think we get to see those cupcakes. I just want to see the damn cupcakes, man. Pink. Okay. It actually makes sense for that to be a Natsuki word. And, like, I know I've seen the file that has all the words in it, but I don't remember any of them. <laughs> I could maybe open that up and, like, just try and scum this, but... Isn't this fun? Isn't this what life's about? Isn't this a dream come true? <laughs> oh, yes. Absolutely. 100%. But yeah, I don't know how far we're going to have to... Hmm. <laughs> One second. <clears throat> okay, now I know that Jess is quoting something, but I'm not quite sure what she's quoting. And I'm going to feel really bad because the second she tells me, it's going to be painfully obvious. <clears throat> Finn could tell you. I'm betting it's a musical. But actually, I might just... Because I want to get through as much stuff as, as possible, so I might... I don't want to be scummy yet, though. Do I want to be scummy yet? Do I want achievements that badly? Docs. <laughs> Let's do... Yeah, sure. Um... Let's see. Let, let me... I'll pop up another poll in here. It's basically just gonna be should I just look stuff up so we can get stuff done as quickly as possible? <laughs> wow. I don't know how to phrase this. I guess scummy is the, is the term that is commonly used where you're just uh, doing what you can to get everything done. Does not meet the gut. The mm. Apparently Twitch doesn't like the word scummy. It also does not like, not like the word scum. I guess I'll say cheat. It's kind of cheating. I don't know, man. Okay. Oh, should I look up answers? <laughs> I realized I forgot to say my intro. Um, yeah, so if you've never been here before, hello, hello, I am current. Well, I'm former Forest Princess Sumire Hanaki and current fat cat owner. The fat cat is currently not in the room. <laughs> Listen, you already played the game clean once. See, that's very valid. That's usually how I play visual novels is I'll go through just doing my best one time. And then after that, I become scum trash, where I am just going step by step through guides, baby. So you're cheating. Let me see. Well, poll's not done yet. I don't know. Probably. <laughs> okay, but 100 people said yes. 100% of people said yes. So yes, we'll go ahead and we'll be a cheating cheater who cheats. I'm okay with that this over here real quickly. Let me get... Okay. Uh, doki doki. FBI, open up! <laughs> Ooh, new thing to add to the list. Turn that down. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, though, Jess. Thank you for the bits. Okay, so let me get all on words. Let's go, baby. Give me all of them. Here we go. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Okay. So Natsuki's... There they are. Let me see if there's any... Oh, this person put them in alphabetical order, too, so that's very nice. Is this original one, or is this Doki Doki? Oh, yeah, this is uh, the original one. These are old. Um... I need the ones from Plus, because there are more words. Uh, poem words guide. There we go. 
Yeah, baby. Let's get scummy. Okay. Let's see what we got. All right. Comfort one, no. Is embrace one, no. Together? No. Which one? Oh, sweet, probably? Surprisingly, no. Dream? Also, no? Tr treasure? No. What one, what one of these is a Natsuki word? Vanil vanilla, vanilla. It was at the bottom of the list, don't get mad at me. <laughs> Worth every bit. Well, I'm glad that you are enjoying yourself. Oh, kit. Yeah, kitty's probably one. Let me double check. Yes, kitty is one. Is mouse one? Mouse is one. Is heaven sent one? No, that's too much. Hopeless is not one. We know that Doki Doki is one. Let me let me ch choose another one just in case any of these words. Yeah, I think Do Doki Doki is the only one that's in here. Okay. Uh, daydream, no. Peace, yes. Ocean, no. Destiny, no. Misfortune, definitely not. Hair, yes. Oh, incongruent, no. Laugh, no, surprisingly. Sparkle, no. Water, waterfall is, okay. P I think pubby. Yeah, puppy. Okay. I'm really glad this is in alphabetical order. Thanks. Thank you to whoever. <laughs> Thank you to uh, gamertweak.com for helping me scum. All right, let's see. We got. Let's see. Color isn't one. Is wonder. Nope. Spinning is. Is one. Spinning is one. Yeah. Music? No. We know that one, isn't it? Twirl? Twirl is one. Uh, peaceful? No, I'm, I'm pretty sure Candy's gonna... Oh, sorry guys, yeah, there's a, there's a slight delay. Sorry. <laughs> oh, Candy. Candy is obviously one. Uh, Wrath, Stream. I think Precious is the only one here that's gonna apply. Precious isn't one of her words. Which one is? Page isn't... Is? This is okay. Isu. Uh, blanket. Yes. Whisper. I don't think so. Oh, whisper is actually. Okay. Journey. No. Uh, grief. No, definitely not. Cute. Yes. <laughs> uh, ribbon. I'm assuming. Yes. Careless whisper. Oh no. Do I have that as a sound alert? I hope not. <laughs> I don't think I do. I probably do, actually. Play is not one of hers. Charm is not one of hers. Obviously, disoriented and frightening isn't. Clumsy? No. Lazy? Also, no. Which one of these? Oh, poof. It's poof. Okay. Termination. Oh, bouncy is probably gonna be. Yeah, baby. Okay. Yay, achievement unlocked. Perfect, Natsuki. I'm scum. <laughs> okay. Let me. We'll skip -oo. Okay, here we go. Oh man, now I have to get back into these voices. It's been a second. It's been like a week. All right. Second, I'm gonna bring up my stream lab so I can see my mic levels. Cause uh, when I was reviewing the previous Doki stream, I had a little bit of problems with peaking, but it was mostly with like Sayuri's voice. So I think we should be okay. <clears throat> Okie dokie. There we go. Ugh. Wow, that was bad. Bad start. <laughs> I hear Natsuki utter an exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. Okay, so this is going to be the manga one that we got last time, but it's not going to be corrupted, so we'll have, like, an actual conversation here. 
You, uh, looking for something in there? Freaking Monica! She never puts my stuff back in the right spot! What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is just gonna mess it up? Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga? You read manga, right? Uh... Sometimes? Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. How did you know, anyway? I, uh, I heard you bring it up at some point. You know, like literally yesterday, it was one of the first things that you said. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. You look like a big fucking weeb. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? It means that you look like a big fucking weeb. Uh, I see. There's a lone volume of manga amidst a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. There it is! Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. Then she turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Aha! Much better! Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that feel. I get a closer look at the box she's admiring. Box set she's admiring. Parfait Girls. It's a series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it is simply terrible. If you're gonna judge, you can do it through the glass on that door. She points to the classroom door. You wanna insult my taste? You can leave. Hey, I, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Sumire. Consider this a lesson straight from the literature club. Don't judge a book by its cover. Oh, sorry, my phone just went off. Here we go, okay. In fact... Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm gonna show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hands. Uh... I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful colorful attire, striking animated feminine poses. It's exceedingly moe. Or exceedingly mo. Don't just stand there! Uh, Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. <laughs> then she takes a seat against the wall beneath the windowsills. I'm not going to say anything. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. You can't read at the same time like that. Uh, why is that? I guess it's easier to be close together like this. Ugh. D don't just say that. You'll make me feel weird about it. Natsuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Uh, sorry. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her, either. Not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm? You, you don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. I don't either. Uh, I only have like a couple of books I've read multiple times, so I feel that, Natsuki. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can talk at the same time. It looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice of life affair. Which could be good or it could be very boring. I kind of grew out of these, since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot, yup. So, I actually shouldn't be saying anything considering how much I love Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. <laughs> the only thing that's in there is slice of life, wholesomeness, and booba. <laughs> that, is, that is all that is in that show. What should I expect from this? Is there going to be plot? Well, obviously. You think I would enjoy something that didn't have a plot? I mean... Well, I, I guess I know what you're saying. A lot of the beginning is about simple things. 
Like, there's a really funny chapter where they're obsessed with a guy at the ice cream shop. But that just helps you get to know the characters. And besides, it's, it's still entertaining. But later on, there's all kinds of drama. Natsuki lives for that drama. Give her the tea. <laughs> like when they... <clears throat> like when they get into all their backstories and when some of the romance starts to happen. That's really what makes it good. There are so many touching parts. Oh, is that so? Sounds like you really know what you're talking about. Maybe I underestimated you. <laughs> hey, hey, wait! What's that supposed to mean? Oh. Uh, Natsuki gives me a little shove. I, I just meant that I haven't seen you at your full power. Hmm. Good save. No, it wasn't. <laughs> oh, this uh, chapter seems like it's about baking. This is just a guess, but is there a lot of baking in this manga? Well... Natsuki pauses for a moment as if she doesn't want to admit something. Baby girl. Yeah. Why does that matter? No, it doesn't. I was just curious. Since you enjoy baking too, right? That's... J just a coincidence. <laughs> I just happened to get into baking around the same time I got this manga. Natsuki, it's okay, baby. I know multiple people who now ice skate because of Yuri on Ice. It's okay. Like I would ever get into anything because it's in a manga. I feel bad for anyone that impressionable. <laughs> Definitely not a coincidence. Yep. Guess that explains Natsuki's interest in baking. Still, of all the hobbies to pick up from a manga, that's... Definitely one of the better ones. Not to mention, she's really good at it, so who am I to judge? Yay! We, we get the cute without it uh, hurting this time. We're not going to get pain, Pickle, out of this. <laughs> we read on for a few more minutes. I finished a couple of chapters at this point. Are you sure this... Oh my god! Thanks, Jess. I did put- I did put Careless Whisper in there. Now I know. Now I know I did indeed put Careless Whisper in there. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. Thanks, Jess. <laughs> Even though you're just watching me read? Well, I'm fine with that. <laughs> if, if you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. Oh, ooh. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. Had a hand spasm there for a second and I thought I accidentally skipped a line, but we're okay. You know what I mean? Hmm? Huh? Huh? You, you you don't? Uh, that, that, that's, that's not... I love this face. This face is so cute. The cuteness all comes from this tooth. The cuteness is stored in the tooth. I heavily monitor when people read things I like. I do that too. And also like when I'm showing somebody a movie, especially uh, cause like I'm known for really, really liking movies and having strong opinions on movies. So if I show something to somebody, I'm like, do you like this? Do you, li do you like this? Like staring at them during parts so I can see if they have the quote unquote proper reaction <laughs> to the thing. <clears throat> That's not. Oh wow. Well, I, I, I... I wouldn't... I wouldn't really know? What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? C could you... could you not rub it in? Jeez. Uh oh sorry. Hm. Like I could ever get... oh, like I could ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. I can't even bring up bring it up without them being all like, uh, you still haven't grown out of that yet? Blah 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 blah. Makes me want to punch him in the face. Ugh, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated towards other losers over time. Oh, a second. Ooh, adjusting how I'm sitting. Wah, posture check. Wah, 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 wah. 
But it's probably harder for someone like you. Huh? Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's pretty accurate. Wait, wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. I don't even know what my dad would do if he found this. And that's the line that was corrupted uh, last time we did this scene. At least it's safe here in the club room. Except Monica was kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am, reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. <laughs> Very true. Just because you read one manga doesn't mean her friends are suddenly cool with it and her dad is also suddenly cool with it. That was a very dumb sentence. Maybe? But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? Uh... So? <laughs> Jeez, that, that's enough, that's enough. Are you gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flipped the page. Suddenly, Natsuki starts laughing. <laughs> oh my god! He's so cute! Oof. Less dare, more soon. <laughs> god, so cute. I love this little- I think this is, um, because they did, like, HD art for this one. I think this little, like, gradient on the eyelashes is is new for Plus, and it is cute. I love it. Somebody put gradients on my eyelashes. <laughs> I am actually considering having somebody, like, make fix up my outfit because I'm not good at it. So, <laughs> maybe? Maybe in the future. Gradient eyelashes. <laughs> I totally forgot that happens! Natsuki puts her finger on one of the panels. Minori is my favorite character. You always feel a, a little bad for her since she's so unlucky. But it gets especially bad when- Oh. I, I shouldn't be talking about that yet. Oh, just, just finish this chapter. <laughs> Cute. Natsuki's voice sparkles with excitement. It's a stark contrast to her usual bossy tone. But if she's not used to sharing her favorite manga with her friends, I can understand why. No spoilers, exactly! I'm I'm also guilty of, of accidentally like getting spoilers because I get too excited about things, so I, I feel that. It's hard to express in words the feeling you get when connecting with someone like that. And being able to provide that to Natsuki, for whom it is a rare experience, uh, the thought makes me smile a little to myself. Oh, ooh. here's my Monica voice. Where is it? Okay, everyone. Huh? Are you all ready with today's poems? Why can't I skip this? Oh, come on! Could oh, because it's still in the scene. Okay. Could your timing be any worse? <laughs> Sorry. I, I just need to make sure we have enough time. Though you do look pretty cozy over there. <laughs> huh? Uh, uh... Natsuki suddenly notices how close she's gotten to me. She hastily slides herself a good 12 inches away from me. Alright. I guess I'll, guess I'll stop here for now. That's do you mean Mo Monica's smile, like her little shit eating? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't I didn't mean to interrupt you, ha ha ha. <laughs> I close the book and hand it towards Natsuki. Yeah. Yeah, I remember playing this game back the first time. Uh, in the original, sorry, pop my knuckles. Ah, um, I just remember, like, you see a lot of things in a different context, and you're like, God damn it, Monica! <laughs> you're just giving it back? Oh, baby, look at that face! Oh no, take the book, take the book, take the book. D don't you want to know what happens? Oh, uh, yeah, but Monica just said, Don't be dumb. Just take it home with you. Huh? It, is that really alright? I say that mostly because I really didn't plan on using my spare time to read this. Well, of course! It would take forever to finish if you didn't take it home. Just finish that one before tomorrow and so we can start the next one. And if it gets bent, I'll kill you. By tomorrow? 
Dude, it does not take long to read one volume of a manga. It's mostly pictures, dude. I only got part way through the volume so far. I might fall behind on some shows if I try to get through this. It's gonna take like an hour of your time, my man. But I suppose that's a necessary sacrifice in exchange for seeing Natsuki's enth enthusiastic face. Oh. Or am I more scared of what will happen if I don't finish it? It takes like 40 minutes to read a manga. Exactly, Finn. Absolutely. All right, then. I stand up. I return to where I put my stuff and carefully slip the book into my bag. Bro, you're treating anime plus for real plus plus. Just put those words right back in your mouth. <laughs> Go to jail. Oh. Okay, okay, we can skip now. We are back to sk skip time. Oh. Okay. I'll just go through the list here, because it's going to be mostly the same, I think. Oh, no, it'll be a little bit different, because, um, that different stuff. Oh, God. Oh, what's my Sayori voice? Okay. Ooh, gotta, gotta sit up a little. <sighs> oh, that's too much. Okay. All right, we're sitting up. Okay. <laughs> hmm. This is a good poem, Sumire. That's not her voice. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Maybe? No. <laughs> we'll just see what happens. We'll, we'll go with this. Yeah. Are, are you sure it's your first time? Of course. It's not that good. Am I the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare time? <laughs> I guess you're right. No, I just devour stories. I look heavily at every picture when I read manga and it takes me like five hours at least. I think me and Finn are, are both like very, very like big speed readers learn to stop and smell the fucking roses. No, man. Nah. I eat the roses. Yeah, bunnies do eat roses, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're right. Oh, let me click back in. There we go. <laughs> but that's why it impressed me. Well, <laughs> to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously, or, or that you wouldn't write one at all. Spicy? Why are they spicy? I'm really happy that you just wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm uh, standing in front of you in the club room. Uh, well, of course, spor thorns make it spicy. I feel like that makes it dangerous, unless rose thorns contain. I don't know. I've never tried to eat one. I'm, I'm not going to. <laughs> mouth hur mouth hurty. <laughs> I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? Like I said before, Sumire, deep down you're not selfish at all, you know? Isn't that what spicy is? Um... I guess spicy is mouth hurty, but I don't think it's mouth hurty in the way of shoving multiple thorns in your mouth. I think it's a different kind of mouth hurty. Don't quote me on that, though. I don't eat spicy food. <laughs> no, there's less blood. Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. Could you imagine if every time you ate spicy food, your mouth started bleeding? People would still eat it. I know people who would eat more dangerous things for <laughs> less. <clears throat> Trying new things like this for other people? That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah, <laughs> and, and I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That'll be my way of thanking you. Oh man, I'm realizing, so on Thursday we're playing the Nekopara Catboy game. I'm gonna have to come up with uh, voices for, for the boys, and that's not gonna be fun. I'll, I'll think of like what voices and accents I can do, and chat will pick the voices for the boys, I suppose. <laughs> it's not, it's gonna be uh, a journey, I think. Oh, Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that then. There's Japanese voice acting if that helps. I might listen to it to see if I can get, like, something. But, may but 
chat choosing voices might also be fun. Unless you want to do them all yourself. Isn't that the partially the point of me doing visual models? Is me doing the dumb voices? I, I guess now that I'm thinking about like people that I've watched play visual novels, the only ones that have done like voices for every single character is like Dodger. But Dodger is how I got into visual novels, so I'm just kind of emulating that, I think, maybe. <laughs> oh. Yay! <clears throat> now you'll read my poem too, right? No. Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> oh, we'll see about that. Okay, we already read this one. Yeah, we did. I want breakfast. Oh! Play him how you want to play. I just don't want you wearing yourself out, but I love your voices. No, um, for me, like, the fun of visual novels is doing voices. I, I do voices for visual novels. Not every single time I play them, but usually, like, I'll, I'll at least, like, read some stuff out loud in voices when I'm playing visual novels by myself. Um, but, so, I Want Breakfast just reminded me, um, Omocat released a... I don't know if it's, like, a reprint? That's half the fun of Monster Prom for me. Yes! We're gonna have to play Monster Prom on the channel sometime, just so people can hear all of the voices. People need to hear that Jess is the best Scott <laughs> out of all Scots. But, um, oh, what was I saying? Oh yes, Omocat, uh, released like a Doki Doki, um, clothing line, and there's one that just has food on it that says, I want breakfast, and I was so close to buying it. It was really cute. It was a cute shirt. I'm sure it's all sold out now. Alright. Skip! Not ski! Skip! Yuri. Also skip. I think you get the same dialogue options if you didn't make a poem for them. Hi Monica, bye Monica. Oh, oh yeah, she says different dialogue here. Okay. I like it, Sumire. But really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. <laughs> oh, oh, geez. Oh, no, no. It kind of makes me think of something Natsuki would write. And she's a good writer, too. So, take that as a compliment. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> yep. There are lots of poems or stories out there that are no more than a few simple words. They can be funny, endearing, or even sad. And sometimes they're only a few lines long. They might even feel like they're written for kids, but if you think about them, they can express views of the world that would apply to anybody. I see. So you're saying that Natsuki is kinda like that? Uh, <laughs> sort of. Oh, I have something on my screen. Get off of there. Get off of there. There's something on my screen that's like right on Monica's cheek. Get off of there. Ah. Get off of there. There we go. Maybe she's not an expert. But you probably won't find much filler in her poems. They might be easy to write, but they're super challenging to get the meaning through. So I can see why it would be your kind of poem to explore. That's true. Honestly, I, I'm, I'm happy that Monica is complimenting Natsuki's writing style. I, I prefer Natsuki's writing style to Yuri's, but I like them both. That's just me. I, I like I like simple uh, with like additional like messages. <laughs> I also don't read a whole lot of poetry, though. Oh, it's time to feed the boy. Uh, let me finish this scene and then we will feed the boy. Oh, I can skip. Bye. Bye. Good night. Yep, everybody fight. Angie, we're gonna talk about Yuri's boobs. And now we're gonna pick Natsuki. Um... Yuri! You're- you're really talented. Uh, well... But Natsuki has a point. I think that... I rack my brain in an attempt to back myself up. I think that uh, conveying feelings with a few words can be just as impressive as well. It lets the reader's imagination take over. And Natsuki's poem did a really good job of that. Yeah! It did, didn't it? <laughs> Shows how much you know. Th that's not... 
Natsuki. I think that's enough. Huh? Me? But, but she was so mean to me! Wow, that hit my throat bad. Ow. <clears throat> that's the problem with the Natsuki voice. It has to sit in the right part of my throat, otherwise it hurts a little bit. I've gotten pretty good avoid at avoiding it, but right there, oopsie. <laughs> Ah, what hair? Okay. Natsuki's voice whines. <laughs> Look. We talked about yesterday. What we talked about yesterday was right. Writing is a really personal thing. And sharing it can definitely be hard. It looks like we learned that today. Even small criticism can lead to something pretty heated. I glance over my shoulder. Sayori is nodding vigorously. She's just back there. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> yeah, uh, so... You, you don't need to feel threatened. You're a great writer, Natsuki. Uh... Natsuki's voice gets caught in surprise. Th thanks for... Thanks for noticing. She finally mutters that, barely audible. Yuri? Huh? Yuri looks at me dejectedly. Oh, baby. With a face like that, I can't help but feel bad for her as well. I'm sure that Natsuki didn't mean everything she said. So, you don't need to feel threatened either. Well, if you say so. Hey! It's not like you need to apologize for me, Sumire. Sheesh. Natsuki takes a breath. I... The, the thing about... Ugh. Natsuki glances around the room. Would everyone stop staring at me? Unsurprisingly, Natsuki has a harder time with it than she boasted. Sayori and Monica look away. <laughs> I'm imagining, instead of just like kind of turning their heads to the side like this, they both just like turn 180 degrees around and just like face the wall. <laughs> anyway! Oh, did I accidentally skip a line? One second. No, uh, I, I skipped. <laughs> the, the thing about the thing about your boobs, I, I, I didn't mean it, okay? That's all. Natsuki looks away, looks away, avoiding eye contact with anyone. Yeah, you're naturally beautiful, Yuri. Not the time. Sweet baby, no. Sayori. Uh, I, I, I'll go make some tea. Huh? I was- I was just trying to help! I'm sure she appreciated it, Sayori. Yeesh. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. Well, uh, now that we're past that... Everyone read each other's po read each other's poems, right? I hope that was worthwhile for everyone. <laughs> Especially you, Sumire. And to be honest... It's a nice change of pace from lazing around, from the lazing around we got a little too used to. <laughs> ah, so my joining the club was responsible for ruining the atmosphere. Oh, n no, not at all, not at all. There's still some time before we go home, so we'll all relax for a bit. Of course, besides chatting, we do literature-related things in the club room. So, maybe you can take the chance to pick up a book, or do some writing. After all, that's what the club is for. I disagree, Monica! Oh? About what? That's not the most important thing about the literature club. The most important thing is having fun! Ah, oh, she's so cute. Very good, very good girl. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, of, of course. Well, I guess that's why you're the vice president, Sayori. <laughs> In the end, though, Monica's right. Our girl! Our girl! She is the true girl. In the end, though, Monica's right. Being the, in the literature club probably means I can't spend all my time doing nothing. But, in the end, I guess it's been worth it so far. And we are back to the skip. Okay, alright, before we do... Before we scum this poem, I must feed my boy. Addison, where are you? There you are. Dava, okay. Guess he got you another one. You want? Do you want? Here he comes, come on. 
Oh, good stretch. Good boy. Okay. All right, Trito. Trito for Boyo. Oh, do you want to say that again? Oh, you're a little bit too quiet. Come here. Oh. <laughs> oh big boy, big handsome light. There you go. Treat, say thanks, Jesse. Thank you, Jess. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> he grabbed the treat and ran away this time. <laughs> Thank you for the meow redeem as well. <laughs> All right. Okay. Where'd that list go? Da -do -da. Okay, here we go. Um, happiness is not one of hers. Here. Yes. Billy is not. Tears, definitely no. Summer is. Um, heartbeat is. Sensation, I don't think is. Nope. Playground is. Joy? Is not. Insight, sw swim, swimsuit? Swimsuit is one, okay. Uh, skirt, no. Holiday, no. Oh, pink. <laughs> pink, we know. Charm, vivacious, kawaii. <laughs> Party, part me. Um, that's an incongruent smile. No. Vibrant? No. Sparkle? No, what? Huh? I think it's Kawaii. I think Kawaii is our only option here. Okay, Kawaii. Doki Doki. I don't want to choose that one again. <laughs> I just, I want to try and choose as many words as possible just uh, in case they unlock anything. Uh, depression. Fireworks, maybe? Fireworks? No. Awesome? No. Feather? No. Eternity? No. Night nightgown? Nightgown is one. Um, fireflies, maybe? Nope. Um, extreme? No. Captive? Definitely no. Covet? No. Da dance? No. Fluffy? I think that's gonna be one. Yes, Fluffy is one. Bunny. Uh, lit lipstick? Yes. Oh, Sing is not one of hers. Okay. Um, Parfait, I think, is one. Yep. Fun? No. Uh, Promise Nate. Play? Nope. Um, Heart? Heartbeat, but not heart. Dang. Okay. Nature? What? I'm losing it. What What? What one is... Pop, 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 Pink, pop, pure. Happy. Puppy. Ribbon, heart. Ra rain cloud? No, that's not gonna be her. Which one of these is a Natsuki word? Oh, no. No. But no. Judgment. Sure, no. Play. No. Tragedy, no. Lust, obviously, no. Rain cloud, no. And then heart? It, what? None of these. I'm just gonna put fun. Oh, damn it! That's okay. It's okay. We already got the. We already got the stuff for 100%. That was weird. Portrait. Yes. Memories and Lumpy Shame Hopeless Aura. Cheeks? Cheeks. Philosophy Raindrops Vacation. Pout? Pout is one. I knew Pout was gonna be one. I had to step away to get some cucumber. Why? Crispy. Just to eat. Crispy. I have eaten cucumber once or twice. It's okay. It's weird. Uh, I think Waterfall was one of hers. Yes. Question Love. Not one of hers. We know Papa's one of hers. And Poof. And Strawberry. Okay, cool. Easy peasy.
Easy peasy. Skip, skip, skip. <laughs> One thing I do like about skip mode is, like, it'll still do the effects and everything, so we got, like, that hit noise, but very, very quickly. Just the <laughs> huh. It's not long before Natsuki comes up to me expectantly. Did you read the boy? Did you read the book, boy? Boy, did you read the book? Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, I kept my promise. I pull the first volume of Parfait Girls out from my bag. Natsuki takes it from my hands, then quickly turns it over, presumably to check for wrinkles. H hey I'm not that careless. I handle manga all the time, you know? I just wanted to make sure! Can you blame me for being paranoid? I don't give people my manga every day, you know. That's true. I don't blame you. Well, anyway, let me put this one back. The story that I'm just remembering, uh, when I was in school, I actually loaned a book out to somebody, and they, like, fucking destroyed it. Like, they, uh, it was a paperback book, and they, like, got it wet or something. I'm trying to remember. I just remember that it was, like, basically unreadable. Which sucked. And that's one of the reasons why I've bought six separate copies of Howl's Moving Castle. <laughs> I missed that particular copy, though, because it was, like, a little itty-bitty tiny one. Kinda cool. And the font was neat. Alright, okay. <laughs> well, anyway, let me put this one back. Getting Natsuki's manga is a rare treasure and you should be honored. Exactly. This is a gift. I I'm gonna get the next one, okay? I love her little smile. The sequel isn't Markov's portrait, it's Parfait Girls. That'd be so funny. Doki Doki Magical Girls, let's go! Be amazing. I'm gonna get the next one, okay? Natsuki makes her way to the closet. I follow. So, uh, you're, you're gonna tell me everything you thought, right? Oh, where did this volume leave off again? I forget. Uh, the chapter ended when, uh, Minori and Alice found... Monica! And then Monica gets her head bit off. <sighs> Natsuki's voice resonates out from inside the closet. Huh? I peer inside. All of Natsuki's books are lined up on the top shelf. Did you move my manga again? Wow, that's really- Monica, what the hell? Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. The teacher got mad at me for taking so much space in her closet. Oh, I had to move some stuff around and uh, clean up a bit. It's all still there, I just had to organize it a bit. Ugh. The top shelf is far above Natsuki's head. CG? EG? EG, please? She makes a futile hop, trying to figure out how to reach her manga. Ah, jeez. This is so inconvenient! I'm moving all of these back down. There's plenty of room on these shelves. And besides... They're real pretty to look at when they're all lined up. I do like a very, very pretty... Like, if the spines of a manga, like make one continuous picture, that's cool. Oh, she knew what she was doing. She she did. She absolutely did. And that's really shitty. Like, what the hell, Monica? Why would you waste that on the top shelf? Uh, Natsuki. <laughs> there's, a, there's a stool on the wall there. In the closet, there's a collapsible stool that's hanging on the wall. If you want, I can reach up there and hand them to you. I can get them myself! Natsuki grabs the, school, the stool from the wall and unfolds it. You, you think I'm too short or something? Yeah, you're itty bitty. <laughs> I, I mean... Oh, I knew it! Well, you know what? Just watch me. Natsuki hops onto the stool, which ends up being a little wobbly because of its collapsible design. Oh, here we go. It's the trope. It's the trope. She's gonna fall on top of us. Uh oh Careful! I know what I'm doing! Standing on the stool, Natsuki's fingertips reach the top shelf. Just her fingertips reach the top shelf. That's a tall-ass shelf. You're small. She's small! She itty bitty. Itty bitty bitty bitty. The stool- I don't even know what I just said. Wow, okay. The stool would be enough for me to easily grab the books, but Natsuki is being stubborn as usual. Uh, uh... Natsuki uses her finger to scoot one of the smaller boxes to the edge of the shelf. See? 
Oh, oh cute face. The box suddenly tips. Oh, Natsuki barely catches it before it falls to the floor. The stool wobbles. Of course it does. Whoa! Losing balance, Natsuki hops off the stool. I also don't know what that noise was that I just made. Thankfully, she was able to stay on her feet. She holds the box triumphantly. Th there! <laughs> it was no, no problem, no, no, no problem. I didn't almost fall and break my spine, it's fine. Jeez. No need to prove yourself to me. There's no way you'll be able to get the bigger boxes like that. Look, I can reach them, so... Oh, sorry, I'm one second, I'm hearing a weird noise. Oh, my landlord is mowing the lawn. That's what it is. I can reach them, so just... I said I can do it! I don't want your help, okay? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna get a chair, so just, just hang on. Natsuki forces her way past me out of the closet. Let's see. The classroom chairs have the desks attached, and so they're too inconvenient to fit into a closet. I want her to lift a desk over her head. But we all know that I love the trope of small but strong. <laughs> Aha! Natsuki trots over to the teacher's desk, which has a computer chair behind it. That's gonna have wheels on it, baby. No! She rolls it on its wheels back over to the closet. No! Uh, it's a little dangerous <laughs> since the chair swivels and rolls. Okay. I can you're gonna bonk your head, exactly! So, the only chairs that I own are two different computer chairs. I have my streaming chair, and I have my um, former computer chair that now sits at my craft desk. Both of those are on wheels. If I ever have to like get anything high up, I do have to stand on them, and every single time, I feel like I'm gonna die. And I'm not that tiny. This girl tiny. She's gonna get her hurt. But I've already learned my lesson, so I keep my mouth shut. Honestly, that's also for the best, bud. <laughs> I'm gonna read this as, Yush! <laughs> Yush! I don't know, Sumita, you're pretty tiny. I'm not that tiny. I'm six foot tall- I'm six feet tall if you count my horns! But my horns are really tall. <laughs> I'm six feet tall with the horns. I'm tall! I'm tall! Natsuki climbs into the chair, then slowly balances onto her feet. Oh, this can only end in tragedy. Since she refuses my help, I take a seat with my back against the side of the doorway and simply watch. Honestly? Not when I knock you over, you're not. <laughs> I mean, technically you're not wrong, Jess. I'm just... Honestly, I would kind of do the same thing. If, if I had a friend that was being, like, this stubborn about doing something their, themselves, and they're doing something obviously stupid, I would also just kind of sit and just watch them and be like, okay, prove me wrong, I guess. <laughs> Since she refuses my help, I take a seat with my back against the side of the doorway and simply watch. CG, baby! <laughs> Aha, there we go! See? I can easily do it now! Natsuki grabs the stack of manga and bends down to put it on the shelf below! That's gonna change your center of gravity and the wheels are gonna fly out from underneath you! Oh no... Thank you, Jess. Thanks for the bits. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. The chair swivels. As expected. Natsuki catches herself on the shelf. What are you doing? Can you at least hold the chair steady instead of sitting and doing nothing? You told us not to help. Who was the one who told me not to help? <laughs> yeah, 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 I, I gotcha. <laughs> um, thank you for the nya redeem. Let me get my timer. Okay. I hold the chair while Natsuki reaches back up, nya. Hm? I can, nya. I can almost see up her skirt. Nya, you better stop it, Nya. We're not doing that here, Nya. That's a child, Nya. FBI, open up, Nya, Nya. <laughs> Gah, Nya. <laughs> I force myself to turn away, Nya. Natsuki seriously didn't think this through, Nya. Once she realizes, I'll be dead, Nya. 
Yeah. <laughs> no! <laughs> Thank you, Jess. Natsuki wraps her arms around the Parfait Girls box set, easily the largest one on the shelf, Nya. Uh, heavy, Nya. Hey, uh, Sumire, Nya! I don't think I can bend down without falling, Nya! Hurry and take this one, Nya! Huh? But then I have to let go of the chair, Nya. That's fine, Nya! Just for a second, Nya! Hurry up, Nya! All, all right, Nya. <laughs> let me let me just stand up, Nya. I slowly release my grip from the chair. What do you mean, stand up, Nya? Natsuki looks down at me, Nya. Why are you all the way back, Nya? Uh, uh, Nya? <laughs> Natsuki looks like she just realized something, but she'll lose her balance if she moves, Nya. Sumi, I thought Thursday was a Nekopara stream, Nya. I'm sure we'll get a lot of Nya during the Nekopara stream as well, Nya. <laughs> Natsuki looks like she just realized something, but she'll lose her balance if she moves, Nya. N Natsuki, the, the box, Nya. W what are you looking at, Nya? <laughs> I love this music, it's so funny. You're trying to look, look, look up at my, 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 my Nya, Nya. <laughs> Natsuki's legs shake, Nya. I'm not- I, I'm not! I- I was just- Nya! <laughs> Natsuki, don't try to move, Nya! Exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Mom, <Mons> and Vince. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna have to try during the commercial break to maybe turn that one off, because, uh... With this being Natsuki's route, we're gonna have a lot of FBI open up moments, I think. Just- just give me- just give me the box! You- you perv, Nya! <laughs> You set me up, Nya! Go away, Nya! Get out, Nya! B but Nya... I'll do it myself, Nya! Uh, 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 Nya. <laughs> the chair suddenly swivels beneath Natsuki's feet, Nya. N Natsuki, Nya! <laughs> Kya, Nya! <laughs> <laughs> the scene turns into chaos in a split second, Nya. The f chair flies from under Natsuki's feet, Nya. Frantically, I try to catch her, Nya. The box topples out of her hands and the books go flying, Nya. I, I, I got you. Nya. <laughs> Crash, Nya. The full force of Natsuki's body against me throws me to the ground, Nya. A whole bunch of books pelt me in the face, Nya. Natsuki tries to shield herself with her own arms as her face lands straight on my chest, Nya. Ugh. My right arm and my back seriously felt the impact, Nya. <laughs> Thank you, Jess. Perfect. Perfect. Perfect use of a good bonk. Nya. Ugh, Nya. Slowly, Natsuki comes to her senses, Nya. Ugh. She presses her arm straight into me to prop herself up, Nya. How did she end up turn- How did she end up turned around, Nya? I don't know. Maybe she just kind of like- I don't know. She hit some momentum. <laughs> uh, she presses her arms straight into me to prop herself up, Nya. Uh... Huh, Nya? It's a computer chair. They swivel, they swivel like a motherfucker, Nya. Exactly. Huh, Nya? Natsuki seems to realize that it's not the floor that's beneath her, Nya. Uh, Nya. <laughs> gross! Gross, Nya! <laughs> uh. A fist pounds into my chest, Nya. Natsuki then hoists herself to her feet, Nya. Just another day in Neko Neko Literature Club, Nya. <laughs> Litter Nya Chur Club. <laughs> Good job, Jess. Yeah. What were you? What, what were you thinking, Nya? You sicko, Nya. Every everything okay over here, Nya? I I heard a loud noise, Nya. <laughs> it's very funny in the Monica voice, Nya. Monica suddenly peers in, Nya. M Monica, Nya. See what happens when you put the manga on the top shelf, Nya. Okay, that was five minutes. Thank you again for the point, Redeem. <laughs> you know that that is definitely the tone of me getting uh, tormented by my own chat. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, though, for the bits and the sound. 
Yeah, see what happens when you put the manga on the top shelf? Are you trying to kill your club members or something? Skulldark, hello! Welcome. Um, let me remind myself how long sing mode goes for. Is it five minutes? Oh, five minutes. Wonderful. Okay. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, hoy! <laughs> This was painfully awkward last time, so, you know, I apologize in advance for this. Okay, another five minutes. One second, let me drink some water before I do this. I couldn't resist. No, I appreciate it, Skulldark. Thank you for, <laughs> for coming and hanging out, and thank you for the points, Redeem. This will be fun. Oh. Let me click back into this here. Okay, five minutes on the clock, and we're going... Sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, and oh, oh, and one more thing. Oh, wow, well, this is gonna be very, very difficult. <laughs> it seems like your most recent literature, your most recent club member is a total pervert. <laughs> so I hope you're happy. <laughs> oh, man. I didn't. <laughs> Somehow, it's impossible for me to explain this whole bizarre situation to Monica. This really just puts me in my Gladys voice, it really does. <laughs> Except, uh, trying to do it in Natsuki's voice is very, very difficult. I didn't do anything, I swear. <laughs> I know, I know, don't worry. Monica says that quietly to me. It looks like, I, it looks like I'm off the hook. <laughs> oh, man. Oh no! <laughs> it's so hard with the Natsuki voice to do this. My, my! Huh? <laughs> I look down. Natsuki's kneeling on the floor, holding one of the books that are scattered, scattered all over. Oh no, this is gonna be sad, and I don't want to do this sad part while singing. <laughs> There's a large diagonal crease along the page that she's desperately trying to smooth out. Oh, it must have landed on the page. Well, that wasn't really much of anything. Okay. Natsuki tries a bit more to fix the crease, but she can't get it out. This stream is a triumph. Yes, 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 making a note here. Huge success. <laughs> Suddenly, she gives up and slams the book shut, then throws it to the floor. Instead of continuing to yell, she just lowers her head, and now I feel really bad. I'm really sorry, honey. It happens, though. I don't think I've ever kept a single paperback book in a very pristine condition. This is why I only buy hardback books, but I know that you really can't do that with manga very often. You really need if you could, but that's fine. Oh no! Seeing her cry makes me feel really bad. Oh, I tried to say that in a sing-song voice, but yeah, I'm, I'm doing my best. <laughs> Natsuki, are you... No! No! <laughs> no! Natsuki's voice squeaks. I see tears on her face. Ah. I'll help get the crease out, okay? It's partially my fault, so... Natsuki shakes her head, still looking down. No. I don't- I don't even care that much. I'm just... having a really bad day today. <laughs> Very hard to sing and do a raspy voice at the same time. I guess this is me just getting some experience with it though, I suppose. Natsuki sobs again. I didn't mean to take it out on you. Oh feel very bad. <laughs> I really didn't mean to. It's, it's fine. Is there anything you want to talk about? Natsuki shakes her head. Uh, just ev every day is so hard. Baby. I just want to come to the club and Natsuki falls silent again. I can't press her, so I can only do what I know how to do. Alright. Well, I'll help- I'll help clean this up. 
And I'll move the rest of your manga for you. Thank you very much, Jess, for the bits and the audio. <laughs> and I'll move the rest of your manga for you. Oh. I pick up volume two of Parfait Girls. I'm helping, I suppose you are, in some way. <laughs> but no thank you, I really do appreciate it. You add a lot of humor to my streams, I really do appreciate it. I will set this one aside. This'll help cheer you up a bit, right? We can get started on it once I'm done here. Oh, oh, that's five minutes, okay. Thank you, Skulldark. <laughs> Alright. We can get started on it once I'm done here. Nazi looks up with her glossy eyes. Oh, baby. Her lip quivers. You're... You're really nice to me. Huh? That sounds really strange coming from Natsuki. I didn't expect it at all. W well, <laughs> I'm just treating you like a friend, you know? <sighs> Natsuki lowers her head and stifles another sob. I'm not sure what happened to her today, but being nice is the least I could do. That was great, especially since there was no music to go along with it. Thank you, I try. <laughs> and I, there's part of me that like wanted to go along with like some of the background music. A lot of that was in silence though, which is not the best. Um, but it's also hard uh, to try and time the syllables with the music. So it's a little bit rough. I'll get better at it eventually though. The next couple of minutes are silent between us as I begin gathering the scattered books. I make sure to slip them into the box in their correct order. After a little bit, Natsuki starts helping. It isn't long before we're done, and I hoist the box onto the shelf where Natsuki wanted to put it. Then, I get on the stool and quickly finish moving the rest of her books from the top shelf. All right. Yush. That should do it. I hop off the stool. Natsuki averts her gaze. Oh gosh, why do I, like, only get little hiccups? Pop it. Hmm. Thanks. <laughs> it's, it's nothing. Natsuki is holding the volume I set aside in her hands. Alright. I'm ready. Uh, uh, good. Even if you weren't, I I'd make you anyway. You're taking responsibility for what you said. The, the thing about, about cheering me up. <laughs> if you insist. Cute! We sit in the same spot as last time and I open the second volume. Natsuki's mood quickly improves, laughing and pointing things out to me. She's surprisingly sharp, making note of a lot of subtle repeated jokes and background elements. In the end, I'm pretty impressed by how everything ties together in this manga. I guess Natsuki has good taste after all. You did it, Natsuki! You managed to not have shit taste! Good job. 10 out of 10. After some time, Monica gets our attention as usual, and it's time to share poems again. I guess I'll be holding on to this for now. Oh, guess I'll be holding on to this for now. I said that. <laughs> yup. Even you some- <laughs> even you some more enthusiastic this time! Well, I'm starting to get into it, you know? <laughs> Told ya! Yeah, yeah. I return to my seat and slip the book into my bag. And... Skipoo. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we didn't get a lot of these ones for Sayori, so I, that's not a whole lot that I can skip. Okay. Oh! I like this one, Sumire! It has some nice feelings in it! Oh, I I'm glad! Does that mean it's better than yesterday's? Hmm, let me think. I don't know! I guess I like them both! <laughs> That's not very helpful, you know. Well, I'm, I'm not very good at figuring out if poems are good or bad. But that's why I just go by my heart! If it makes me feel things, then it must be a good poem. Oh, same girl. I'm not sure that's exactly how it works. Then again, I guess conveying feelings is a pretty important part of this whole thing. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah, me neither. Ugh. Why didn't you at least try giving it some thought? Oh, you want to write something for me? 
That's so sweet. Yeah, right. But you're always thinking about other people. You need to think about yourself once in a while. Yeah, you do, honey. If you don't, you might end up getting hurt at some point. Huh? Well, I, I don't really know what you mean, but I'll, I'll try to keep it in mind. I really like this face. You can, you can see the whatever that like meme is where it's like all the math floating in front of, I think it's Claire Danes' face. You can just see it here. <laughs> He's thinking very hard. Uh, wh well, whatever. Sayori, you fucking liar. Exactly. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see. Hmm. I, I guess I like... Happy palms? You have 3.6 hatreds. Oh no. Oh, Finn. Oh, you have too much power now. I'll have to put, like, a really, really, really high reward thing sometime. I'm still figuring stuff out. If anybody has, like, ideas for things they want as channel point redeems, let me know. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs>
Natsuki's face freezes like she just realized something. Y you mm, you're you're trying to impress me? Natsuki vig Natsuki vi vigorously scans her eyes over my palm one more time. Then the palm slips out of her hands and flutters onto the floor. So dramatic. I I, I have to use the bathroom. <laughs> Red faced Natsuki quickly walks out of the room. Baby girl. Uh, hey, uh, Sumire, did you do something to Natsuki? I just saw her rush out like that. You didn't do anything terrible, did you? But n no. <laughs> I just I just told her that my voice gets caught in my throat. There is no way I could tell Monica that I'm trying to impress Natsuki. Huh? N Monica sees the poem lying on the floor and swiftly picks it up. She reads through it, her smile not fading from her face. I see. You wrote this for Natsuki, didn't you? I, I i mean... Not not really. In fact, didn't she like your poem a lot the other day, too? I'm surprised you know her taste so well already. Are you sure you're not cheating, Sumire? Shut up. Oh no, she knows! She knows I'm scumming! She knows I'm scumming! <laughs> She says I, she knows I got it too good. She knows I'm scumming. Are you sure you're not cheating? Cheating? What do you mean by that? Hmm. Never mind. I'm I'm just kidding. <laughs> I didn't understand Monica's joke at all. Anyway, how do you think Natsuki feels about you? Oh, <laughs> you don't need to answer that. It was just uh, something for you to think about. Hey! Natsuki comes up and snatches the poem out of Monica's hands. Neither of us had noticed her re-enter the classroom. Did you read this, Monica? Of course. I liked it. Ugh. You should really stop reading things that aren't for you, you know? This is a thing where we're all sharing poems, Natsuki? You have a bad habit of doing that. Oh? But uh, Sumire wrote, wrote this poem. And we're supposed to share with everyone, right? Ugh. Natsuki freezes. She apparently forgot that my poem is technically for everyone to read? Okay, well, I think Sumire's done sharing this poem with everyone. Not like anyone would want to read this anyway. In fact, I'm just gonna hold on to this. Oh, so we don't even get to show it to Yuri? <laughs> Natsuki, doesn't matter, it was for me. Back off, exactly. <laughs> if you insist. What? Why are you looking at me like that? L like what? Ugh. Never mind. Oh, uh, uh, Natsuki. I'll give you the poem, but that's still not very fair to Yuri. Oh, yay. Uh, that's cool that they have that in there. She uh, hasn't gotten to read it yet. So what? Well, I, I guess Sumire is right, Natsuki. It's not fair if you don't let everyone finish reading it. Fine. Natsuki returns my poem. It's not like she's gonna like it, though. Any anyway, read my poem now. That's Monica's exact face there, Finn. You got it. And no, I won't let you keep it. My only copy. Okay, yes, Amy likes spiders. We've read this one. Really like that one. Okay, and we skip. Y you know... I'm, I'm glad that you can appreciate this kind of writing. I, I mean, I, I know I was talking about that yesterday, but I've been... Well, I've, I've been enjoying sharing my writing with you, so... So consider yourself lucky, okay? <laughs> well, uh, thanks for being honest. What's that supposed to mean? I'm always honest. No, you're not, honey. Jeez. I just look forward to tomorrow, too, okay? Alright, uh, I will. Okay. Let's keep going, let's keep going. Oh! For one for as well. Um, um, are, are you still mad at me? What? <laughs> for, for disrespecting Natsuki yesterday? Because, uh, reading this poem, now I know why you got mad at me. Because you... you prefer her writing over mine. That's that's not really true. 
Meaning, when I disrespected her, I disrespected you too, didn't I? Oh no. Oh, Yuri. You might be reading into this a little too much. How could I be so stupid? I always let these things happen. Whenever I think before I speak, I just come off as awkward and, and unlikable. But if I speak without thinking, the things I want to keep deep inside come out and people hate me. So please don't force yourself to be around me. Oh baby. Ah, uh, Yuri, personal growth. I know this is what Monica wants. What? Oh, she, she means the, for everybody to get together and, like, share poems and shit. Okay. But it's not fair to you, and you could be enjoying your time with Natsuki and, and Sayori. Y Yuri. <laughs> Please. It makes it easier for me if you don't express any concern. Besides, I have my books with me. That's all I need. Ugh. Yuri smiles sadly and puts her head down on her desk. Oh, no. I'm frustrated. I don't hate her, but it's as if she's not capable of listening to me over her own thoughts. I sigh to myself. Thank you for the oof, Jess. It was very much an oof. I feel that deep in my soul. All I can do is accept that that's how she is. If she wants to be left alone, then I have no choice but to abide that to that request. Hey, Monica, what do you have to say? Oh. <laughs> that was kind of silly with Natsuki earlier, wasn't it? I'm glad the two of you have been getting along so well. Mm -hmm. That's one way of putting it. Like, damn, dude, right? Yeah, that, that was a little bit of trauma dumping on a person there, Yuri. You need to kind of rein that in just, just, a, just a touch. Because, like, from the standpoint of this, it seems like you've only known this person for, like, two or three days. See, that's one way of putting it. Anyway, I already read your poem, but you can go ahead and read mine now. I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Yeah, yeah, the, the save me, load me one. Hmm. It's even more abstract than your last one, huh? <laughs> Why can't we skip this one? I guess it's just the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. Oh, no, I, I never said that. It's just a kind of thing I never really seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with space on the paper. Choosing where and how to write your- to, Ooh, wow. Monica's voice leaving me. <laughs> Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of the poem. It's almost like magic. The way I wrote the lines really short makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. I see. It's still hard for me to tell what it's all about, though. <laughs> Sometimes asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. A poem can be as abstract as a physical expression of a feeling, or a conversation with a reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when you might change your mind. Or when something unexpected may happen. I don't trust that. I don't like that I can't skip this, because we've had this dialogue before. We've had this dialogue before. But I can't skip it. Which makes me feel like something's wrong. <laughs> Wait, is this even a tip about writing? <laughs> what am I even talking about? <laughs> That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay. And I still can't skip this. Interesting. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned today, so if everyone could come sit at the front of the... what? Oh, okay. Festival stuff. Okay. Is this about the festival? Uh, well, sort of. Uh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I really don't do well with last minute preparations. Oh, don't worry so much. We're gonna keep this simple, okay? We don't need much more than a few decorations. Sayori has been working on posters, and I've designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great. And all? 
but that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Oh, uh, sorry, I, I thought you heard about it already. We're gonna be performing. Performing? Uh, um, Monica? Yeah, we're gonna have a poetry performance. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're also gonna let anyone else come up and recite poems too. Sayori put it, Sayori's putting it on all the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. <laughs> Sayori, who's been coloring a poster, holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You, di you didn't already start putting those posters up, did you? Oh, well, I did. Well, do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no. Not a bad idea, but I, I didn't sign up for this, you know? There's no way I'm gonna be performing in front of a group of people like that. Uh, I I agree with Natsuki. I could never in my life do, do something like that. Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. Oh, guys? Guys? No, Sayori. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple days ago. It's a lot to ask for them to recite their poems out loud to a whole room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. Favorite anime character? Flame God, hello! Favorite anime character? That is... a hard question. Um, hmm... So my favorite anime is Bakano. And my favorite character from Bakano is Claire Stanfield. So I guess I'll say Claire. <laughs> I like Claire a lot. I think he's a fun character. I also like how he tells everybody in New York to like stop calling him Claire and call him Vino. And everyone just uh, decides to not do that. <laughs> you you want to you want to be called Vino? You want to be called Wine, buddy? No. <laughs> okay. So. I I'm I'm sorry. Uh, but I I still think oh no. She sits lower in my chest. Okay. I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and each put on a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah. It's about expressing your feelings, being intimate with yourself, and uh, finding new horizons, and uh, having fun! That's right. And it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. What, what kind of poems would you guys write? That's a good question, Jess, thank you! Um, I, I think, yeah, I kind of mentioned it earlier that I like Natsuki's style of, of like short poems with um, kind of hidden meanings in it. You do not need- you do not need to ask me about scary ones. Okay, that's fair. Horror poetry is good. And it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? I know you do. I- I know we all do. Haikus cause they would be short and easy. Skulldark, yes. <laughs> That's absolutely fair. I, I've never really been good at haikus, though. I've had to do it a couple of times. Poems I tend to write fall into neurodivergency topics or scenery. That's fair. That's fair. For me, it's long narratives that are either silly or terrifying, like the raven or tall tale poems. Oh, I do love a good story poem, though. Jess, that's a good point. I do love, like, a really good story poem. Ah. <sighs> Um, I have uh, Emily Carroll's um, Through the Woods uh, book right up above me. That's what I was just looking at. And I love uh, her, her short stories. And she has a couple that are a little bit more poem-like. Her art's very good. Yeah, I'm, I'm not the biggest poetry reader and or writer, though. I do, I, I like reading um, more narrative stuff. Emily Carroll is so, she is so good. Oh, I'm so happy. I, I love her stuff so much. Face All Red is so good. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> I performed one of her stories for a theater thing once. I actually 
uh, we had to do like a for for a class in finishing school um, that was about audio stuff. Um, we had to do it was face art. Yes, good. It's good. Ah, man, face art is so good. Um, but um, yeah, so in in uh, an audio class that I took in, in finishing school, um, we had to do like read a, a chapter of a book or something just basically make like an audiobook and I did um, from the through the woods book uh, a lady's hands are cold and I was able to do um, some really fun voice effects uh, for the ghost's poem uh, or song that she repeats um, and it was really really fun I loved it <laughs> I would like to do that with like more of her stuff honestly I really like her stuff <laughs> okay I'll get back I know I have a notebook somewhere on my shelf from high school with a poem called The Mandibles of Mantis, and I was and I was so heartbroken when I found out Mandibles was fangs, not claws. Aw, Jess. That's cool though. I think of mandibles kinda like fangs too, aren't they like the little things like on the front of the mantis? That, like pulls the food in? <laughs> That's kinda clawish. <laughs> That's cool, though. Mantis is scaring me if I look at them, like, too long. Really close up. I don't like their eyes. Their eyes freak me out. <laughs> okay. Oh, yes, let's get through the scene here. Okay. And if it all takes- and, and if all it takes is standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. Would you get- okay, let me- mandible bone is the lower jawbone. Okay, yes. Thank you, Finn. Um, let me do- let me ask, though, chat. Would you- so if you were in this situation, and you were just barely told in like a couple of days you would have to do this poetry performance, would you go along with it? Or would you be like, nah? I, I would still do it, but I, I like performing. I'm, I'm a performative person. Like, you, you don't become an anime girl on the internet if you don't have like some kind of performative freak. <laughs> but it's also the, the crusty bits of the insect. Crusty bits of the insect mouth. Fuck no, bail. I think about it. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Man, none of you memorized really long monologues for fun, and it shows. <laughs> uh, I, I, uh, I'd whip up something special. I memorized the V for Vendetta, V's initial monologue, um, and it got me multiple parts in multiple plays. <laughs> I'm a theater kid, of course I'd do it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, same. You're asking a bunch of introverts on the internet if they would do poetry in front of people. I mean, I think it's a valid question to ask. <laughs> Excuse you, I performed the V for Vendetta monologue. It's fun. It's really fun to say. I don't know if I remember it anymore. And did you? Yeah, did you really? That's fun. It's a, it's a fun monologue. Um, I also did... Um, Tim Minchin's eight-minute beat poem Storm once, just because I really liked Tim Minchin and I thought it was funny. But no, that is really cool. Alright. Then I know you can do it. <laughs> Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. Sayori looks worried. It's hard to do because the alliteration absolutely kills- Oh yeah, the- I re still remember the, the beginning line is, uh, like, full on view a humble vaudevillian veteran cast vicariously Aside by, uh, I wish I could remember it better, but like, yeah, the the first bit is hard. But I I think the middle bit that starts like this visage or mirror veneer of vanity stands vivified by the vicissitudes of fate. Thank you. Vicissitudes is a hard word. <laughs> yeah, that the bit after that, um, the stands vivified bit where it's like. A lot said really fast. That one's that one's the bit that really killed me when I was learning it. <laughs> oh, one second, my cushion is falling out of my chair. I need that. I need that for my old lady back. All right. <laughs> I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. That being said, though, so, like, I totally get all the people that would bail, but, like, if you're in a- you have an old lady back? Yeah, I have severe scoliosis. <laughs> my- my- my back is an, in an awful curve shape. Who'd you take it from? Jesse, I'm 179 years old. I'm technically an old lady. 
not not like at home. I'm very young, uh, in comparison to like people back home. But 179 is apparently older than a human can be. So I'm an old lady, and I have an old lady back. Oh, Eddie. Oh yeah, oh, so sorry, I was gonna say, um, like, yeah, I totally get the people that said that they wouldn't, but also, like, if you joined a literature club, I feel like there's, like, some kind of, I feel like you should kind of expect to, like, read something aloud at one point or another. I don't know, the short notice does kind of suck. Monica is really, <laughs> Monica's really not good with people at all. <laughs> What's this whole man doing with a girl working? <laughs> uh, yeah, cause Kopi is only 50. Yep. Yeah, I know, I'm, I'm a real- I'm a real <laughs> cradle robber. Hitching my wagon to a 50-year-old gross man. <laughs> what We Do in the Shadows had to do it? Yeah, no, that's one of my favorite lines from, from What We Do in the Shadows. Wonderful movie. Eventually, when I do get my Discord set up, I want to do movie nights, and I think what we do in the shadows will probably be something that is watched, especially like around Halloween spooky time. Yes. <laughs> oh, Eddie, stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop. He's like bonking into my chair. I need you to not do that, lovey. Baba booey. Baba. Baba booey. Hello. All right. Are you telling me to take a break? Let me finish up this scene and we'll do- we'll do a quick bathroom break, okay? Okay. <laughs> I think that Sayori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. What did you just hit? <laughs> Don't hit- So, Eddie just headbutted the little lever on my chair that, like, raises it up and down. And now I'm worried that if he hits it too hard, he's gonna, like, make my chair descend. <laughs> so funny. Oh no. Push a button. Okay, yes. I think that Sayori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... It looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, guess I'll just have to get it over with. Alright! Oh, thanks, Natsuki. Uh, what about you, Yuri? Uh, <laughs> Yuri dejectedly glances around at everyone else's expected faces. Peer pressure, peer pressure, peer pressure. <sighs> I, I guess I don't really have a choice. <laughs> That's everyone! You're the best, Yuri! This club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway... Let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're gonna practice reciting them in front of each other. N n no way, no. M Monica, th this is this is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Edison, give me a minute, okay? Almost done, almost done, we'll take a break, okay? He's trying to jump on my desk. Uh oh no. Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Why can't I skip this scene? We did this scene before. Can I go next? <laughs> of course. Now, uh, let's see. Monica flips through her notebook to a specific poem she has in mind for herself. Then she stands behind the podium. No, that's just active aggression. Yeah. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. <clears throat> Monica begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before, or is she simply a natural? I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. They already looks amazed. Yudi has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. There it is, okay. Oh. Finally, Monica finishes the recitation. The four of us applaud, and everyone clapped. <laughs> Monica takes a breath and smiles. That, that, 
was so good, Monica! Oh, <laughs> thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayori? I-I-I-I'll uh, go next. Oh, Yuri's all fired up all of a sudden! Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands. What are you doing? You were being so good earlier. Okay. Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her head down, she walks quickly over to the podium. Th this poem is called... Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri! It it's called... Oh. A after image of a crimson eye. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform into sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns in its structure that she enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly, he's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality and glances around her as if she bewildered even herself. I... It's up to me to save this situation. I'm the first to start applauding. And then everyone clapped. <laughs> everyone joins me afterwards and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were caught so off guard that we must have forgotten. Edison, if you bite my leg, we're gonna have problems. <laughs> Sometimes when I don't uh, pay attention to him, he'll um, bite my leg. If I'm sitting up. As we applaud, Yuri, hold Ooh. Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back into her seat. Oh, that was really good! Thank you for sharing. Uh. Looks like Yuri is down for the count. Her head's just back on her desk. <laughs> okay! Guess I'm next then! Sayori hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. Uh. <laughs> Ooh, uh sorry, sorry, I giggled. Seamus does that all the time. Must bite. Must bite me angy. Me angy, no attention. Must bite leg. <laughs> Edison has done that while I've, while I've used the bathroom, I will say that. Like, slight TMI, but like, literally, if I'm not paying attention to him, he will run into the bathroom and bite me on the leg! <laughs> mother! Mother! <laughs> Sayori. <laughs> it, it's, it's a lot harder than I thought. How did you guys do it so easily? Uh, tr try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself, like uh, in front of a mirror or in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out best that way. I see, I see. Okay, then. Theory begins her poem. Somehow, it feels like her soft voice was made as a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Sayori is. It's serene and bittersweet. Give me a minute, you needy little boy. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Sayori's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sayori meant when she said she likes my poems. It's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. <laughs> thank you, thank you for the meow redeem, Jess. Sayori finishes, and we apply, and everyone clapped. I, I, I did it. Good job, Sayori. <laughs> Even Sumire liked it. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? It, it came out nicely, Sayori. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Uh, huh? I, I, I don't really understand. Oh, in, in other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean! That's... well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do in front of everyone. That's a cute sprite. I enjoy that sprite. 
<laughs> then next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. We don't have much time before the festival, you know? <laughs> okay! Now, who's next? Shut up, Monica, you don't know! Yeah, Monica, you don't know. N Natsuki? Mm. Don't make me go before Sumire. It's not like I compa can compare to you guys anyway. Might as well let Sumire lower everyone's standards a little before I have to do it. Natsuki! It's fine, it's fine. Might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand up and sit- I stand up and step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Sorry, I'm, I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities, and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. That's something that'll improve over time, though. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Alright then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. This poem is called... <sighs> it's called... <sighs> Why are you all looking at me?! B because you're presenting? Eh. Anyway, the poem is called Jump. Natsuki takes a, takes a breath. Once she starts reciting her poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's still a little unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and a rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down, as if giving life to the poem. Natsuki finishes, and everyone clapped. She huffs back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You better not make me do that again. Oh. Hey, motherfuckers! <laughs> Flame God, thank you for the <laughs> for the hey, motherfuckers redeem. Uh, well, you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people. I, I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. Oh wow, where did the voice go? Mm. I can put on whatever face I want for other people. Uh-oh. But when it's just my my friends, it's it's just embarrassing. Oh, that's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so... Well, I guess in that case, you won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez. I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. Oh, that's fine too. Doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. Makes me really happy. Uh, yeah, no, no, no problem. <laughs> okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. Oh, I can't wait! Oh, I can do this. I, I can do this. Uh, all right. I stand up. There is no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. If it's for the sake of the club, and impressing Monica, then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go, Sayori? Yup! Look at you two always going home together like that! It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal out of it. It must be a little nice, though. Well, uh... How am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Sumire, you don't have to say it. Whatever, let's just go already. Can I skip? <sighs> Return to me, the skip function! I walk home with Sayori once more. 
Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sayori is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, uh, Sayori? Oh, oh sorry, I, I, was, I was facing out. Oh, no wonder. Um, I, I was thinking about something from earlier. I, I like how we get to, I, I mean, Sayori fumbles with her words. So, let's, let's just say, one day, Natsuki asked to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What, what kind of question is that? <laughs> You're kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> well, we're, we're going full Natsuki, so I'm sorry. I feel awful. I feel so bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Walking home with Natsuki. Huh. Why does the thought of that make my heart pound? Uh, I mean, I think I would be afraid of what she'd do to me if I turned her down. Sorry, Sayori, exactly, I'm so sorry! Isn't she so cute and fun to be around? Ow, this hurts, ow, ow, ow. That has nothing to do with what I just said. <laughs> you admitted it! Ah, oh, jeez. There's not even any point in speculating something that's never going to happen. Well, maybe... But I just like to think about it. It's not long before you won't need me anymore, you know? Need you? Sayori, I can't figure out how you're seeing these things in your head right now. Oh, sorry. Pain pickle. Oh, yep, yep, pain pickle. Thank you for the bits, Pawn, and yes, pain pickle. Ev everyone is different. Nobody in this club is a replacement for you. Oh, if you say so. The conversation trails off, and I'm left feeling awkward. It was kind of her fault for trapping me with such a weird question. I can't just lie to her. But if there's something that makes her happy, I would hate to take that away from her. That's why I said there's no point in speculating. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time? Okay. Alright, so... Bathroom break time. Uh, I'm going to first of all, my go. Where'd you go? Um, but yeah, I'm gonna run a quick ad. Uh, those of you who have uh, subs or gift subs, you will just see my BRB screen. Well, I missed it. So. Uh, <laughs> all right. Oh, ooh. Um. Oh. <laughs> okay. I guess. I guess I can do that. Uh, Pawn review. Uh, redeemed this stream's singular. Ada ada. So, let me do that really quickly before we go to break. <clears throat> ada, ada. Well, that one was deep. Where did that come from? Oh. All right. Well, <laughs> thank you for the point, Redeem Pun. And then, yep. So for everybody else, I will see you in three minutes. Was that a good one? Was that a good one? <laughs> Noise. Right in the cocoon. <laughs> Yay! I did a good one. <laughs> All right, everybody, I'll give you three minutes of commercial break to recover and use the bathroom and maybe get some snacks. All right, okay, see you guys soon.
I return. Hope everybody had a good break. All right. <laughs> okay. Hey. We back, baby. Okay. Where did my list go? Did I accidentally click away from the list? I might have accidentally clicked away from the list. Do do. My history, I guess. Oh! Oh, Edison just walked away. Eddie! Come back, baby! During the break, pretty much all that I did is I picked him up and I held him like a baby. For three minutes, because usually that's what he wants me to do when he wants attention, is for me to just sit and hold him. Hey, say thank you, Pie. Come here. Another one. Another one. Ah, there he is. There you go! Munch, munch, crunch, crunch. Hey, bye bye Gotta swing him around until he stops screaming at you. Yeah! No, literally, so I hold him, like, over my shoulder like a baby, like the position you burp a baby in, and I just, like, bounce him around. <laughs> and that seems to, <laughs> to... to make him happy, I guess. Calms him down. Okay. Alright, got the words back. <laughs> Jesse, don't say ah. Uh, while I do that, usually I just call him a stinky fish boy over and over, <laughs> or I sing, or I sing him a song about how he's a cat. <laughs> I sing, I sing songs to Edison constantly, and they're usually just like to the tune of other songs, but just to Edison about how he's a cat, and that his name is Edison. <laughs> I also, I realized. <laughs> The, um, so I give Edison wet can food, um, and when I give it to him, I'll like put the can upside down in the bowl, and I usually have to like kind of hit it a little bit to get it to come out. Um, and sometimes I'll just like knock on it, and then I'll be like, "Oh, nobody's home! Nobody's home! You don't get food!" And, and I don't know why I do it. It's for nobody's benefit other than mine, because I think it's funny. <laughs> I just have moments where I realize, like, oh, if a person was here and saw me kneeling on the ground, knocking on a can of uh, cat food, going, oh, Edison, I'm sorry, nobody's home. Don't get food. Nobody's home. <laughs> That's what parenting is. It's just tormenting your child for fun. Uh, let's see what we got. Okay. I'm just going to go through this as quickly as possible. That sucks. Sparkle is not one. I really don't like that Monica asked if I was cheating. She knows. She knows too much. She knows. Um, friends is not one of hers. Lollipop, yes. Pop is one. Tiny? Yes. Bouncy? Bouncy. Uh, rainbow? Oh, no. Um, laugh. No. Peace, yes. Don't be adventure shame, bunny. Bunny! B bunny! Blood, bunny. <laughs> Anger cloud. Uh, sweet? Sweet is not one of hers. Weird. Green. Oh, marshmallow. Easy peasy. Da, 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 da. Here? Here is not one. S is silly one? Silly is not. Skipping is one. Valentine? Valentine! I hope Valentine unlocks like a like a cutie, cute little graphic. <laughs> also, this is taking longer than anticipated, so <laughs> this is probably not going to be the last part of this. I'm going to be trapped in Doki Doki Hell forever, Dan Salvato. God damn it. <laughs> I'm, I might take a, a like a slight break from Doki Doki after this stream, um, just to play some other stuff. I really want to play Yakuza Zero, guys. <laughs> I really want to play Yakuza. So, um, might might take a week off of Doki and just do some Yakuza next week. Oh, and also next week is going to be one month since I started streaming, 
So I'm gonna have like a little party stream where we're just gonna vibe and I'll do some karaoke and it'll be a great time. <laughs> okay. Yes, anyway, moving on. Lucky no. Fireworks? Nope. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jazz. <laughs> That'll be fun. My my debut karaoke was not archived. I this karaoke also probably won't be archived either, but it'll be fun. I'll figure out some other fun stuff to do too. Maybe maybe play Jackbox. Maybe we'll play some Jackbox. Just as a as a as a group. Jack and go. <laughs> I'll see though. Anyway. <laughs> my focus is leaving me. The ADHD is, is approaching. My Adderall is wearing off. <laughs> okay, really though, which one of these? Which one of these? Lucky is not one. Scar is definitely no. Imagination? No. Viv, no. Uncontrol. Which one of these? One second. No. Yeah. No. Which one of these? What the hell? Which one of these? Now you're just being mean to me, game. I'm gonna see Fluffy game. No headphones, heartbeat, no jumpy. Jess, do you have any ideas? Jess is the one who is good with picking. <laughs> For some reason, like nibble, a pink. Yeah, right. I'm, I'm literally, I'm reading through the list and I'm not seeing any. Or no. What? Uh, this is mean. Looking at this list, I could have sworn it was lucky, but no. This one says that uh, this list says that lucky is a Sayori word. And like fireworks is also Sayori word. Let's just I'm just gonna go with Lucky. I'm just gonna go with Lucky. <laughs> it's fine. I, I already got the achievement for 100 percenting it. It's fine. Um, cute. Childhood? No. Loud? No. Vibrant question eternity. Playground? Playground. Anime. Love is not one of hers. Melody might be Melody is. Philosophy and Awesome is not one of hers. Um, heart, I already know. Which one of these? What? What? I think the game is being mean to me. I think the game is purposefully not giving me ones. What? The tone is definitely no. Philosophy, no. Incapable, no. What? And awesome is a Sayori word. Wrath, no. Heart. No, I'm gonna- I'm just gonna click on heart because I, I feel like- one second, let me look. No, that's a Sayori word. Vivacious is definitely not. And then tragedy is not. Oh, it's heart. Whatever. Eh. Chocolate is gonna be her. Oof. Um, is bed? One of hers? I don't think I've picked bed. No, it's not bed. Um, it's vanilla. Uh, fireflies aren't. I've already picked Doki Doki before. I want to see. That is Sayori. That makes sense, honestly. <laughs> Thinking about it for more than two seconds. I uh, giggle. Is giggle one of hers? Yes. Yay! Now let me skip. <laughs> Goodbye. I like the, I like the start of this. Hey you. I'm not gonna read that out loud, Jess. I'm not gonna read. Also put those words back in your mouth, go to jail. <laughs> hey you! Uh? I look up to see Natsuki next to me. <laughs> I can't believe Twitch allows me to be 
you in the chat. I look up to see Natsuki next to me. Okay, there we go. Are you just gonna sit there and keep staring at nothing? Yeah, that was, that was my plan for the afternoon. There isn't that much time, so... Oh, uh, sorry. I didn't mean to make you worry or anything. It's, it's not like I'm worried or anything, Baka. I was just... Natsuki glances down at her side. She's holding a volume of manga in her hand. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Something just came up for a minute, but we can get started now. I won't make you wait any longer. Jeez. Now you're making me feel like a jerk. If something's bothering you, then you can just tell me to leave you alone, and I will. Assuming you didn't feel like talking about it or anything. Oh, she's she's trying to be a good friend. She's trying. <laughs> she practically mumbles that last part. Nah, I'm probably making it seem like a bigger deal than it is. I've just been thinking about Sayori. That's all. S Sayori. Thinking of thinking about her. Uh, yeah, she she seems pretty down today. Ah, uh, this is this is the scene where she went off crying. I'm sorry. Ugh, oh, I feel so bad. All right, but she didn't want to admit it to me, so I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Uh, oh, Natsuki exhales. Well, first of all, you should really work on your phrasing. <laughs> there wasn't anything wrong with the phrasing, Natsuki. Just, yeah, you know, I'm thinking about my friend who's having a hard time. Like, there's not a whole lot of... Okay. But anyway, you're her best friend, right? Yeah, I, I guess so. Yeah. Then, in that case, I think you should trust her a little more. If she needed you, then you would be the first person she would go to, right? Well, I guess that's true. I mean, some people just have those days. Same. Hat. Same hat. You can't always avoid it. If anything, she probably doesn't want you to worry about her because it's not important. Yeah, that's kind of what she said to me. Maybe it's not right for me to go against her wishes. Exactly. If she needs you... <laughs> Eddie just made the, the most... Un ungraceful. Graceless. Speaking from experience, Natsuki? Yeah, probably. Eddie just jumped on the windowsill uh, in the most chaotic way possible, and I think he almost fell. Oh, buddy. If she needs you to worry about her, then it'll be a lot more obvious. Yeah. Uh, I should have thought of it that way from the start. Natsuki fiddles with the book she's holding in her hands. She... She really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Uh, don't, don't get the wrong idea, or anything. We've just been friends for a long time. It's normal to be worried about your friends. I mean, you were worried about me, so... I was not! Baka, jeez, if you're fine, then let's hurry and get this started already. Yeah, yeah. And... Skip it. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, she's not gone yet. Oh, she's just okay. She's gonna leave here in a second. Oh, it, it's it's nice, I guess. Come on, I can already tell you don't like it. Well, you don't need to worry about what I think. <laughs> After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Uh, probably Natsuki. Oh, I, I didn't write this for anyone specifically. Maybe. Uh, that's not really what I meant, though. But it it's okay. You're making new friends, just like I was hoping. And that makes me really happy. A and you're happy too, right? I in this club? Well, uh, of course I am. <laughs> oh, good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Sumire. Sayori, is, is there something wrong? Huh? No, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> uh, Alright. Just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You can go play with everyone else now. If you insist. <laughs> Yay! I'm, uh, I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Sayori? 
tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow! Before I can say anything else, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself. Ouch! Ow, 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 ow. Oh, let me skip stuff. Let's see, let's see! Oh, you're certainly enthusiastic today. Of course! You know I like your writing. Aw, she's being nice. Uh, I'm just, I'm surprised. Seemed like you had a lot of trouble admitting that before. Well, of course! I just had to put you in your place a bit. It's not like, I, I mean, it's not like I was shy or anything stupid like that, Baka. Or jealous! I, re I really wasn't jealous. Just because you happen to be a good writer, <laughs> that's such a dumb thing to get jealous about. <laughs> Couldn't be me. Jealous? No, no, never, no. Could not be me. N Natsuki. Uh, what? You're not very confident about your writing, are you? Huh? What, 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 are, you, what are you talking about? My writing is obviously the best. Right? Uh, it took me a while to figure out, but I think I finally did. Maybe Natsuki's act- maybe Natsuki acts so arrogant because she's trying to make up for her own insecurities. Aw, oh, baby girl. If she acts like she's the best, then other people might think that way too. R right? Tsumire? Please just tell me you like my poems. I, I don't- I don't care if you hate them. Just, just please tell me I'm the best. Just... I just really need to hear that from someone. I know I sound stupid. Yeah, ow, yeah, honey is correct. Ouch, ouch, ouch. But, but there's a reason I never shared my poems before this. Oh, Natsuki. Because... Because nobody ever takes me seriously. What's the point in sharing my poems if people just laugh and say, That's so cute, just like you, Natsuki. Sometimes I don't want to be cute. But nobody understands that. I try really hard when I write. The, the style doesn't matter. The emotions are there. Why can't anyone see that? I just want... Natsuki trails off. Maybe it's because her lips started to quiver. Oh, baby. I look down. Her fists are clenched really tightly. They actually are, in the sprite. <laughs> hey, Natsuki? If you're not care careful, you'll rip your own poem. I gently grab the poem with my own hands until she relaxes her grip on it. I place it flat on the desk and smooth out the wrinkles that she put into it. Don't read it! Before I can pick it back up, Natsuki snatches the poem up from the desk. It's, it's not any good! I know you hate my poems, so you don't have to read this one, okay? But but I want to read it. Why? Because? <laughs> I like your poems. I really do. Why would I judge you for your style? It's not like my own style is anything crazy. I mean, it's true, the first time I read one of your poems, it I didn't look much into it. We're on your route, dummy! Yeah, no, we're here. We got we got your CG. We got an, a, a CG. <laughs> but but I know you better now. And it's wrong for Yuri to think that your style is more amateur than hers. <laughs> and Sayori, she always means well. But sometimes she's focused on simple happiness that she does- She's so focused on simple happiness that she doesn't understand what people really want. Yeah, I, I guess I never really thought about how hard it is for you. And I'm sorry I was part of that problem. I understand now. This is a wonderful conversation. Good job, bud. You're not just cute. You're a lot more than that. Oh, uh, oh, Nat Natsuki, you're doing it again. <laughs> Once again, Natsuki clutches her poem a little too hard. She looks down, hiding her eyes from me. I never realized how difficult this was for her. But finally, she forces herself to extend her arms and set her palm on the table. Y you you can read it. Just just turn that way. I don't want you to look at my face right now. Okay, I will. Oh, is this new? Is this new? Is this new and different? I think this might be new. Even if it's not, I want to read it because it looks cute. Okay, so the title is... Oh, 
Yes, it is new. Okay, the title is Because You. Tomorrow will be brighter with me around, but when today is dim, I can only look down. My looking is a little more forward, because you look at me. 